Hello, how are you doing? My name is Ola Wumi and I'm back with book readings with Christ in my thoughts. But today I've decided to do um, read from a poetry that um, has blessed my life uh, over the course of the years. And actually for a couple of weeks now it's been ringing in my ear. But before I read that poetry, I'm going to read from the book of Isaiah chapter 46 verse 4. And I'm reading from the NLT version of the Bible. It says, I will be your God throughout your lifetime until your hair is white with age i made you and i will care for you i will carry you along and save you and that's the word of god now the poetry that i'm talking about is titled footprint or footprints in the sand um if you're familiar with it you already know what i'm talking about but if you're not i'm going to read a bit of it the poetry goes to us one night, a man had a dream, and he had a dream that he was walking along the beach with Jesus. And as they walked along, he could see scenes of his life flash back. And then he also noticed that there were two sets of footprints in the sand as they walked along. Then finally, when the last scene of his life played back, he realized that there was just one set of footprints. And looking at that, he realized those were the lowest, the saddest, the most stressing portion of his life. Those were the th times that he was probably sick, uh, he was downcast, he was frustrated. There were things going on that he could not handle. So he turned around and looked at Jesus and said, Why did you leave me when I needed you the most? And it's interesting what Jesus answered him. Jesus looked at him and answered, My precious child. I love you and I will never leave you when you see one set of footprints that was when I carried you Wow that was when I carried you that is what Jesus said to this man according to the poetry and from the Bible verse that I read at the beginning God is saying to you God is saying to me that I will be your God throughout your lifetime God will carry us I know the world right now, we're going through so many things. So much is just going on. And there will be times that you feel alone. You feel like, wow, what's going on here? But God is saying to you today, saying to me today, saying to us every day of our lives that whenever you feel that way, that is when I carry you. Because I know your strength cannot carry you through that period. So his everlasting arm, his right hand of righteousness will always, always carry us. Especially if you've given your life to Jesus Christ. If you are a child of God, you're saved and he knows you as his child. He will carry you. And I want to use this opportunity to say to anyone watching me or listening to me that you've not accepted Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior. It's very simple. All you have to do is trust that he is able to save you and call on him. Ask him to forgive you your sins. It doesn't matter what you have done. His blood can wash away every sin. So call on him. Ask him into your life. Ask him to save you. Ask him to be your Lord and your Savior. And then you learn to listen to him by reading the Bible, by listening to preachings, messages that will bless and help your spirit to grow. And once you are connected with Jesus, he will definitely carry you. So I don't know what you're going through. I don't know where you're based or what you're struggling with. Jesus can carry you through it just as we saw from this poetry. So I leave that word with you today. Run to Jesus. He is able to save and to deliver, and he will definitely carry you through whatever you're going through. God bless you. Bye.